Okay, I recently made a video where I teach people how to download music. And I also make many videos on FOSS software and why software should be free. Free not only in the sense of consumption, as in buying it, but also free as in the sense of freedom. Not just free beer, free speech. That's what free means. And you see things like software and music aren't like laptops or consumer goods. They are non-rivalrous and non-excludable. Basically what this means is if a, cons if a person consumes the software or a song, it doesn't diminish the ability of someone else to consume it. If I buy a laptop, someone else cannot buy that laptop. But if I download a song, someone else can download that song. Or if I download a binary or a bunch of cosine waves. It is also naturally non-excludable. With a laptop, you kind of have to have the thing in order to use it. You kind of have to pay for it as well. But a song or a bunch of cosine waves or a binary or even source code, how do you prevent someone from getting it? It's like, like if I look at it, I can write it on my own. So you're going to stop me from writing it on my own? That's kind of... That's oppression, literally. Or people can share it. I can give it to my friend. I can let my friend copy it. Is that in order to, to stop me from copying it, you have to restrict my rights? The only way in which you can prevent somebody from distributing software or songs, cosine waves, math, source code, is if you restrict their fundamental freedoms, which I'll come to in a second. Now, you see, when pirates hijack a ship and steal a bunch of goods on that ship, those goods are lost. They cannot be consumed by the person who bought them. They cannot be used by the person who bought them. It therefore does harm. However, when I copy a code and I allow other people to copy it, when I copy the Vim source code or the NeoVim source code, I am not preventing anyone else from using that same source code to compile the program. In order to stop someone from doing that, again, like I said, you have to restrict their freedom. You need to track licenses, put DRMs. You need to restrict and prevent people from exercising their freedom and rights. A computer can copy text data. You now have to limit that ability. And here's another thing people don't really understand. The marginal cost of software and music and cosine waves is zero. This basically means the cost to produce an extra unit of the good, the software, the music, the sine wave, the cosine wave, is zero. Making an extra laptop costs raw materials. You have to pay for the raw materials, like transistors or silicone or whatever the fuck. To copy something over, it takes less than a kilowatt hour of energy. Digital goods, goods can really be sold forever and ever. This basically gives the corporations an infinite profit incentive by restricting people's rights through DRM. Copying software is not piracy. You are not stealing goods from a ship and making sure no one else can consume the goods again. This derogatory term has been created by corporations to make people associate a moral flaw to not paying for software, which is something that costs literally nothing to reproduce, to make more of, zero marginal cost. Again, this is done so software companies or corporations in general, Fagman, can make infinite money. And let's talk about another point soy devs love to bring up in defense of proprietary software, DRMs, and what will fund innovation. Now, there are many kind of counter arguments to this, and let's go over them one by one. Obfuscating source code restricts use and innovation. Which is better? A million people using the program, patching vulnerabilities in it, finding vulnerabilities, extending it, patching bugs, or only one team of developer having the ability to do that. One team of developers. Now let's draw a parallel with roads. Imagine there are toll booths at every corner of a road. Because hey, the proprietary corporations that build the roads, they gotta co collect fee, right? Something has to fund the road development, right? This is tantamount to DRMs. Toll booths are like DRMs. They cost a lot to build, maintain, and they obstruct use of the road and make it more inconvenient for the user. In fact, I'm willing to bet it's gone to the point where more resource is dedicated to restricting freedoms and making sure people don't copy or distribute the software rather than actually innovating the software. Think about DRMs, Firebase, licensing. Think about how hard Adobe tries to make sure people are not pirating and cracking their software. Soy devs are as busy patching vulnerabilities as they are writing the next DRM to avoid quote-unquote unfair use. There is so much bloat in proprietary softwares because devs are concerned with people sharing it as concerned as they are with patching the bugs and vulnerabilities. Let's say there's a pothole on the road. You are not allowed to fix that pothole because you don't have the license to fix that pothole. You have to make a forum post about the pothole and wait for the corporation to fix the pothole. Fatalities be damned. Fuck them. 
profits matter more. You have to wait for the corporation to fix it, and the same corporations are too busy building toll boots instead of fixing the potholes because the toll boots allow them to make a profit. So, you know, fuck, fuck dead people, I guess. Now, obviously, I'm using roads as an example. In an ideal city, we would have walkable cities, not fucking roads everywhere. But I think you get the point. Now, I understand I'll get a lot of backlash for this, like, oh, what about the hardworking artists getting paid? And I guess there is some kind of room for discussion there. But when goods are non-rivalry, non-exclusionary, or non-excludable, and have a zero marginal cost, you cannot apply the same principles. We can't really charge for it unless we restrict freedom. And I think human rights are more of a priority than an artist making money or a corporation making money. And I have also left many links to videos and articles in the description which further articulate this point. So before leaving some kind of gotcha comment, I would request that you actually bother to go through them, especially the GNU article written by Richard Stallman. This whole intellectual property thing is something corporations made up through lobbying so they can get richer. Again, remember, marginal cost of ideas, mathematics, code, cosine waves, and binaries is zero. And yet they charge for it. Hmm. The entire world would be a completely different place without this crap. And the fact that people struggle to think about that other world is reflective of the brainwashing that has taken place from these corporations. How the fuck do you patent math? How the fuck do you patent a cosine wave? Oh, don't don't click the copy button on your laptop. It's illegal. Unless you want to copy something uh, in Vim. Unless you're writing... Pro Again, it's complete bullshit. Thank you for watching, and see you next time, gang.